Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe and I'm here with a reading on what is the outcome after your long journey, your long transformation, your long road, um, maybe after a lot of deceit, lies, betrayal, anything that has been a difficult journey for you, what is the outcome going to be? Uh, before I get started, I ask that you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos. Hit that like button and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. If you would like to donate to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. There's a link below to my PayPal. Hit that PayPal and donate away. Otherwise, let's get started here. The first card I pulled is confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. And Leo could be strong in this reading. Doesn't have to be. But your confidence has been the key to this um, coming to an end, to this journey um, coming to a close, whatever is going to be your ending, your confidence has been the key. Maybe you have kept going after people have beat you down, um, have made you look to be something that you're not, have, you know, spread lies, rumors, gossip, have maybe stolen from you, but your confidence has definitely been the key to the success because you have never given up. You've just kept moving forward and you were not going to allow them to keep knocking you off your throne. Simply love. So you're going to be able to really simply love. Simply love yourself. Simply love those people around you. Um, simply love life. Maybe you haven't had a, much love in your life lately. Maybe you've never had love in your life. But with this ending, whatever the outcome is going to be, you're going to definitely be able to simply love others and yourself. Back. You have the power to transcend failure and move into a limitless future. So um, you're going to definitely be able to um, transcend whatever failures you have faced, uh, whatever failures people have created for you, um, and you're going to be able to move into a limitless future, which is meaning that you're going to have a very successful future. Forgiveness. You're going to have forgiveness first for yourself, and you're going to need to have forgiveness for those people around you. Maybe the people that have knocked you off of your throne throughout your entire life or just recently um, but you are going to have forgiveness and you're going to be able to move forward and simply love yourself and the other people um, with that being said give me one second I apologize I went hiking today I haven't been hiking in a while well it wasn't really hiking yet but not like I typically do, but I did go on a, a nature walk today. Um, I am planning on going hiking all day tomorrow. I'm looking so forward to it. I have not been at hiking since I moved away from Wyoming. Um, that is one reason why I came back here is so I could do some hiking over the summer. Um, am I planning on staying here forever? Probably not, but you never know. It's it's hard to stay away from the places that you, you're, you're used to, definitely. Um, I'll probably stay here during the summer and then probably move closer back to Florida in the winter because I don't really care for winter very much. With that being said, um, we have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is sense of anxiety and despair and maybe some feelings of oppression. So you might be um, in this already or you might have this once this uh, journey comes to an end. With, with the outcome of the situation, it might be leaving you feeling a little... Um, in despair and with some anxiety and maybe a little bit of oppression or maybe that's where you have been throughout this entire journey and you're going to be definitely be able to break free from that we have first how self physical body outlook self-image life philosophy consciousness opinions awakening self-awareness arrival expression gateway entry point this is a sign of aries so aries could be strong in this reading we have balance, sign of Libra. Uh, the scales are definitely being balanced. And by the end of this uh, journey, this situation, you are going to finally receive the justice that you have been wanting. If you have been um, involved in any type of injustices, the scales are being balanced to where it's going to be a justice. I feel that not so much towards you, it's going to be towards the people that have um, maybe deceived you, lied about you, um, stolen from you, anything that somebody's done to, to knock you off your throne, like I said. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Potential. You're going to have a lot of potential um, financially. You're going to really grow 
in whatever you are doing. If you're trying to create a new job, if you're uh, stepping into a new career that maybe somebody's offering you or you're taking on, um, you have a lot of potential to make a lot of money. Transformation. I believe that we've all been going through a transformation. I feel that all of my subscribers have definitely been on this journey along with me. Um, you're definitely transforming into the person that you need to be. Um, you you have learned a lot of hard lessons throughout this journey, um, and you're transforming um, exactly how the universe is wanting you to. We have the Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Three of Wands represents <clears throat> uh, completion of the first stage project or process. As you can see, this person looks like they're celebrating a victory. So maybe you are at this time are celebrating a victory in whatever situation you are going through. If not um, right now, maybe you will be in the next couple days, next couple weeks. But I feel that you have finally finished the first stage of whatever project you're wor working on. Um, this might include an Aries Leo Sagittarius. It doesn't have to. It's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. So a Scorpio could definitely be provident in this reading. And I believe that you will be releasing all the negativity that has been, you know, um, brought into your life that you have created on your own with your thoughts, with your actions and so on. But it is time to release that negativity and, and definitely replace it with positivity in your life. You're going to be strengthening bonds, if it's bonds with yourself, if it's bonds with, you know, a love romance, you know, a, a partner, or if it's with family, friends, but at this time, and from now till, you know, like I said, a couple days to maybe a couple weeks, you're going to be strengthening bonds with people that maybe you had cut out of your life, um, or they had cut you out of their life. Red Squirrel, gathering your resources now, for they will sustain you through coming change. So maybe you are trying to gather your resources. Um, maybe you're finally going to be able to gather your resources for, you, you know, to sustain you in the upcoming changes. Uh, maybe this is what the problem's been is people have taken your money. They have left you stranded with nothing. And I think that with that being said, uh, whatever your journey has been, I think that money is coming towards you, money that is owed to you, um, and it's going to definitely help you sustain um, some financial stability that you haven't had in a long time. Healing from the past. So you're going to definitely start healing from the past. You're going to be able to forgive those that you need to forgive, forgive yourself, and be able to really um, move into this healing that maybe you haven't been able to uh, heal because of people's actions or just situations that have kept you bound to negativity, to the darkness. But you're definitely going to transform into this beautiful butterfly. We have spring here, so this is during springtime, the beautiful flower. So you're really moving in the right direction to be able to heal from the past. We have justice, again, sign of Libra. So there is justice coming to a situation. It could include a Libra. Maybe you are wanting uh, justice against this Libra. Maybe this Libra is helping you get this justice that you deserve. But the scales are being balanced and justice is being served. We have, excuse me, cancer, feelings, sympathetic, comforting, nostalgic, protective, intuitive, birthing, tender, caring, moody, receptive, lunar, sentimental, introverted, defensive, family-oriented. So a cancer is definitely strong in this reading. Gratitude. You're going to be giving a lot of gratitude for the things that you already have and maybe the things that are coming towards you. I think that, you know, throughout my readings for the last couple months or maybe the last year, I think I've been on YouTube a year now, which is awesome. But um, I think that you have learned to definitely give gratitude to each and every little thing that you have in your life. And you know, once you give gratitude that you know, bigger and better things will come towards you because you are very grateful for what you have at this moment. We have Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have growth. So a lot of growth is coming your way after this journey, after this situation that you've been involved in in a long time. You're going to have a lot of growth, and I feel that you have had growth throughout this journey that you've been on, no matter how hard or easy it's been. You have definitely been growing in the direction that the higher power um, wants you to grow 
And I think with that being said, that's why you're, you're definitely, your wishes are coming true. And maybe one of your wishes was to have justice finally in your situation. We have conditioning, sign a Leo. So a Leo could be uh, strong in this reading, but you've been conditioning yourself to definitely um, take on whatever you're needing to take on. Uh, conditioning yourself to be able to uh, forgive other people, to heal from the past, to strengthen bonds, and to release the negativity. We have Four of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Four of Cups represents boredom and discontent. So with that being said, I think that you have been in this boredom and discontent um, position for a very long time. And you are now starting to be able to release that. You're going to be able to really move towards the things you want in life um, in the direction that is going to bring, you know, enthusiasm, adventure, happiness, love, whatever you are searching for. But you are moving out of this discontent and boredom, even though it's in the upright. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So an Aries can definitely be involved in this situation. But a fiery cli climax approaches. That means that the truth is going to be hit like a ton of bricks whatever your situation um whatever you're needing this justice is going to hit not only you but everyone involved like a ton of bricks it's and it's approaching fast which means i would say in the next couple days control so with this i think that um it's not meaning that you're trying to control anyone i think you're breaking free of control i think people have really tried to control you um, the decisions that you have made in your life, maybe other people that are involved in your life, but I feel that this control is being broken and you're going to be able to really move towards the future, towards the things that you have wanted and um, towards a life that you really do deserve. Owl, seeking out deeper knowledge to see through deception. I think we've all been in this uh, position for a very long time. I think that throughout this journey, we've had to really dig deep to see really what was going on in this situation. There's been so many lies. There's been so much deception. There's been so much gossip and rumors and, and anything and everything that you can definitely think of in your situation. And I'm sure my phone just dinged. So that is a confirmation that this is true. You have been this owl and you have never given up. You have never stopped looking for the answers and trying to... Um, see right through the deception that was going on right underneath your nose hobbies so like me right now i am getting ready to go hiking for the day tomorrow that's a huge hobby of mine maybe you are stepping away from all the bullshit all the lies all the deception maybe you're stepping you know away from the world and going within and while you're doing that you're going to definitely start really embracing your hobbies again and the universe is giving you a big thumbs up because the hobby card has been coming out a lot and that's really what the universe is wanting you to do. We have Four of Cups, the Boredom and Discontent card again. This is a sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I think that you are definitely breaking out of that boredom and discontent. And you're going to really step into doing the things that you really enjoy. The things that really make you happy, that fulfill your days, that um, just really bring that adventure and excitement towards you. Neptune Dreams imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideas, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic. And this is a sign of Pisces. Pisces. So Pisces could definitely be strong in this reading. Mysticism. So you definitely are connected to to different realms you're connected to the higher power you're you have a lot of psychic abilities you're able to definitely use your psychic abilities to help you through whatever journey uh you might be a witch that is able to you know cast spells um you might be a very strong manifester but you definitely are um connected in different ways that a lot of people are not and you're you're very you're very powerful Pluto, transformation, again, transformation, renewal, inner sources, resources, excuse me, basic instinct, motivation, personal power, evolution, um, cycles, death, rebirth, subversion, suspicion, obsession, intensity, reckoning, taboos, clearing in extremes. This is a sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio is strong in this reading. We have... The Three of Swords, Heartache in Reverse. So if you have had a third party 
uh, situations, a third party interfering in your life, um, with your relationships, with your career, with your, your finances, anything like that, with it being in reverse, that third party is no longer able to do that. That third party is being cut out and you're not going to have to worry about that third party anymore. We have awareness. So you are very aware of everything that is going on around you at this time and has been. Maybe it's taken you many, many years, many, many months, however, weeks to gain this awareness of exactly what the hell has been going on, but you're very aware of it and you're acknowledging it. We have comparison in reverse. This card came out earlier in one of my readings. So if people were comparing you to, you know, another person, your, your situation was being compared to another situation, any type of comparison with it being in reverse, that comparison is being cut out. And it could be being cut out of this third party situation. The last card I pulled is a uh, page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The page of swords represents um, delayed, uh, disappointing news minor problems with children so the pages to me represent children so you might be having minor problems with your children maybe your child is one of the people that caused this difficult journey for you um maybe there's delayed or disappointing news maybe you're going to be hearing some disappointing news regarding your child i feel that if your child is involved i think you're very aware of what they have done um i think that you're very aware that maybe you've had a child that has backstabbed you, has maybe made false accusations about you, anything to hinder your growth. I believe that unfortunately one of our children, or all of our children were involved in, including my own. So with that being said, this is what I have for you to expect. What is going to be the outcome of your long, hard journey that you've been going through? Um, I think it, it definitely shows a lot of potential of, you know, a lot of positive things coming into your life. I think it's going to move you out of a really boredom and discontent position uh, straight towards your hobbies that are really going to add a lot of spice, a lot of adventure, and a lot more excitement to your world. We need to remember that people make decisions, and unfortunately at times they're not the best decisions. Um, the best thing that we can do is start with ourselves by forgiving ourselves and then moving on to those around you. Just because we forgive a person does not mean that we have to have those people in our life. It allows us to set down the burdens that maybe they have created or the situation has created. And we're able to move forward in a more positive uh, way. Uh, with, uh, with the card, it's time to release negativity. And maybe it's negativity towards the people that have really hurt you. I think that you're really needing to get, get that under control. Get your emotions and your logic mind you know, balanced out. You need to know that, you know, twice the justice card came out and justice is being served. That has been a card that's came out in almost every reading I've done in the last couple weeks. Uh, the balances are being, you know, the scales are being balanced and justice, if you were involved in an injustice, is now going to be made into a justice. And I don't feel like it's going to be towards you. I think other people will be facing a lot of shit from whatever they did in your situation. If you feel like commenting below, I would love to hear what your situation is. Um, if not, then I understand, but I would just, I would love to hear if you are um, accused of anything that has caused an injustice in your life. If your child was involved, I would love to hear that too. Um, I'm just really curious how many people are going through the same situation as I am. And I feel that a lot of my subscribers are for sure. With that being said, again, if you'd like to donate to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. There's a link below to my PayPal. Otherwise, I will check you on my next video. I'm sending you all so much unconditional love, so many positive vibes, healing, and just peace each and every day. Take care. Peace.